Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be checking out some of the coolest creations I could find on the workshop. So, let's get into it. Alright, first up, we have the B2 inspired VTOL bomber by OM3. And yeah, it's a B2 bomber that's been incorporated into a VTOL design. So let's get going here. Spaces to go forward. Oh, okay. Uh oh, oh no. Let me give that a little repair. Alright, I think shift. Yeah, shift is to ascend. And then left control is to descend. Left mouse is to drop the bombs. Nice. Okay, I'm not sure what Q and E do. They're not actually activating anything. But I think Alt is to switch into... There you go. We have switched into the VTOL mode or out of VTOL mode, sorry. And oh, you know what? This thing feels pretty nice to fly. Wow. There you go. I can get some real spread with the bombs there. That's a big payload for sure. It's actually a stealth bomber, right? <laughs> I'm pretty sure you can be pretty stealthy in this thing. All right, we do have some other controls. Like there's one binded to the uh, full stop. There we go. Okay, for some reason that drops the bombs and shoots at the same time and apparently opens the wings. That's strange. I don't think that's supposed to happen. <laughs> X doesn't do anything too. I don't know what half of these controls or why they're not working, guys. Maybe, uh, hmm, I don't know. But otherwise, other than the uh, faulty controls, I think this is a pretty cool build. Yep. I really like this one. All right, next up, we have this thing. All right, so this is the MB05 Peregrine by Metal Burger. And uh, it's a uh, Y-Wing, I think you call them, these type of aircrafts. And it's propeller, it's a push prop. Oh, I did, <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. Okay, so let's, uh, let's try and take off here. This thing looks really cool already. There we go. Put the landing gear in. Nice. Oh, wow. This actually has a um, a right mouse keybind. I don't even know how that's possible. That's not actually a thing in Trail Makers, so I don't know how this guy's done this. That's very strange. But yeah, the right is to drop the bombs. Left is to shoot. We have a bunch more keybinds. And then we have Q and E, which I think is your controls. Yeah, there we go. And finally, we have one. What does one do? Oh, One's a toggle. It toggles the engine on. That's convenient. Yeah, dude, this is amazing. Wow. It flies so smooth. If I just level it out, can it just fly straight? A little bit. I mean, we're on a slow descent. Actually, I don't know. I can't tell. All right, dude. Wow. I'm so impressed by this. Bearing in mind, I only picked these planes because they looked cool on the workshop. I don't know how they all function. All right, can we go in for a land in here? Uh oh, uh oh. I gotta turn off the toggle. There we go. Where can we land? I think we can land under this archway. All right, let me get my landing gear out. There we go. Oh, it's a little fiddly. Oh, you know what? Oh. And reverse. <laughs> there we go. We did it. Nice. Let's have a quick look at the decals on this thing. Yeah, you got the Metal Burger Bureau logo there. That's cool. Oh, look at the... I love decals, man. They just make things look so epic. Even the even the little face here on the front. <laughs> well, another really impressive Metal Burger build. All right. Up next, we have this really impressive F-14. The vehicle is actually unconfigured. So let's actually see who this is by. This is the Jolly Rogers F-14 Tomcat VF-103 by Sketchfox. Wow. Okay. I feel a need for speed inspired by Top Gun, of course. And then we got looks like pretty standard controls not many aircrafts actually build canopies that like work so i just want to test that out really quick i don't know why that tiny little detail just adds so much to a build i'm gonna start making canopies that's so cool oh we got a tail hook see that when i pull the landing flaps down i also have a tail hook nice all right okay <laughs> let's get this thing in the air this is super detailed it's also zero dragged so I'm assuming this is going to go pretty fast. Well, G is not the landing gear. I don't know what the landing gear is supposed to be. Oh, did you see that? It's got like missiles or rockets you can launch. Like actual homemade missiles that are made out of blocks and not actually the rocket launcher weapon. So do these actually explode? That is so cool. This thing flies really well, too. All right, shift is to sweep the wings back. An iconic feature of the F-14. Dude, this is so good. Of course, we have our weapons. I'm actually so impressed. The only thing I forgot or don't know how to do is the landing gear. Oh, it's control. Control is the landing gear. And now I can test this thing to its, like, full capabilities. Landing gear in. 
I'm gonna sweep the wings in. And this thing flies so well with the wings in as well. Usually when people make swept wings planes, because the wings sweep back, it makes the flying physics a little goofy. But this is just flying straight, like in a really nice straight linear path. I barely need to adjust it. Wow. I'm super impressed. All right, I wanna blow something up again. Let me launch my uh, missiles. That is so epic. <laughs> I really like that. Uh, in fact, you can piston launch those missiles. It's great. Oh, oh, it's super maneuverable. I don't need to worry about crashing. All right, let's see if I can land this bad boy. There we go. I'm so used to landing gear being on G. That's very odd. Okay, I'm going too fast. I'm going too fast. Oh, get out. <laughs> I just lost a multi-million dollar plane to the sea. Right. Honestly, I think it's one of the best jets I've ever flown in this game from the workshop. That is so impressive. Good job, Sketch. All right, well, up next, we have Treble's F-35 or 22. So it's either an F-35 or an F-22. Um, so it's kind of a bit of both, I think. It's inspired by mine, apparently. So uh, I made an F-22 a while ago, and this one actually looks way better than mine, dude. You did a really cool job here. All right, it's got the thrust vectoring, of course. I like the elevator design there. Okay, all right. Shift is to toggle the engines on. Control. Control is air brakes. Q and E is, I'm um, assuming, that's your... Wow. Even the thrust vectoring can yaw. What? It has 3D thrust vectoring. I never thought to do that on mine. Like, only the vertical stabilizers has yaw for me. I never see this on planes. Wow. <laughs> Today, I've discovered that you can actually build a canopy and uh, yaw thrust vectoring. <laughs> Okay, that's the bombs. Z is the bombs. X is... Uh, yeah, okay, the X is the missiles. Shoot. Left alt. Oh, it's like a rear camera. Huh. That's cool. Maybe you can see who's on your six. I think there's a, <laughs> a mistake here, but there is a little piston sticking out when I use the arrow keys. See that? All right. I'm assuming you're not supposed to press the arrow keys. Let's go. Let's take off. All right. G, landing gear. There we go. I'm used to having landing gear on G. There's a bunch of logic gates underneath. But our missiles. Oh, this is such a smooth plane too. Why are you guys so good at making smooth flying jets? Like These are not like little jets too. These are pretty big in terms of scale. All right. Let's test out this yaw for us vectoring. <laughs> Damn, that maneuvering and turn time? That's pretty quick. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh, there we go. I regained control. I'm gonna put... Yeah, there we go. Put shift on. We're on a toggle now, so it's flying kind of by itself. I'm pretty sure most of these planes are gonna be really lethal in dogfights. Like, look at the firepower there. What's our top speed? Very fast. <laughs> oh, nice. Also, very cool work with the decals, with the outline tones there. That's something I did, so I can see the inspiration. It's F-22, do some tricks. Or F-35, F-22 combo. Here we go, here we go. Haha, <laughs> yeah. I've already mastered the controls of this thing. Now I just gotta land. This is the, the hard part for me. I can never land successfully. I'm not even lined up. You know what? Easy. I wish the tires weren't so bouncy, dude. I would have perfected that. Oh, well, we did it. We survived. <laughs> well, Treble, another really cool build, dude. Wow. Nice. Finally, we have the McDonnell Douglas F4 Phantom II weaponized by the Stalwart Fury. So let's bring it out. Oh, oh, oh. Something's happening there. All right, okay. So it is zero drag. Most of these planes are actually zero drag for the speed. It can taxi. Oh, okay. Uh-oh. Why is it... Stop reversing. No! No! <laughs> it's so compact that things are a little clangy, as you can see, but it's okay. All right, we have spaces to go. Yeah! I think there is like a um, altitude sensor going off. There we go. We're in the air now, so it's stopped beeping. I'm gonna put my landing gear in. Okay, that was nice. Oh, there's also some tone generators for the gun sounds, like a... Mm. I got your controls. Pretty standard. C and X. Is that supposed to be like flares? That is a really cool way to pretend to have flares. So when I press X, it looks like I'm dropping flares. 
Dude, that is so epic. What? You guys have inspired me today. Well, I'm gonna. My next jet is going to be a combination of all these cool, impressive techniques you guys are doing. Alt. Alt is to drop bombs. And then left control to shoot the missiles. There's so much like sound detail going on with this build too. I, I think the f my favorite feature is the flares though. The fake flares. That is so cool. <laughs> you guys amaze me. All right. Well, last thing to do is to land this. I'm going to put my landing gears out. There we go. I'm trying to slow down here. It is a toggle, the engines. Okay, come on. Can we actually land something today? No! We broke it. Um, okay, I'm gonna hop out. Let me hop out. There we go. It wasn't too bad that time over landing. I don't know. Maybe I'll do better in the future. Well, guys, that was me taking a look at some of the coolest aircrafts I could find on the workshop. I definitely recommend you guys check some of these out. They're so, like... My mind has been blown yet again. Anyway, if you like this video and want to see more videos like this one, why not consider subscribing? It's free. But anyway, that's enough from me. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.